Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is AC voltage controllers. In this session, we will discuss the circuit diagram, waveforms and working of single phase AC voltage uh, controller. Basically, we will be discussing a uh, full wave voltage controller as well as we will be talking about few applications of power electronics like uh, fan controlling uh, using some devices. So, first let us discuss AC voltage controller. As I said, we are talking about single phase full wave AC voltage controller. So, this is the corresponding circuit diagram. At the input side, we are applying V is equals to Vm sin omega t. This is pure sinusoidal waveform having uh, amplitude Vm. We are considering two SCRs, that is two thyristors T1 and T2. R is the load connected at the output side. That means across R, we have to measure V0 output voltage and I0 output current. I0 is the current flowing through this resistance R, which is connected at the output end. Now, the waveforms are pretty simple. We are talking about the sine wave, pure sine wave applied at the input. We know that the nature of input sinusoidal waveform is like this. It is from 0 pi then 2 pi. So we know that 0 to pi represents positive half cycle, pi to 2 pi represents negative half cycle and then the cycle repeats. Suppose we will consider that we are applying, we are considering the firing angle equals to alpha. That means after this firing angle alpha, a particular thyristor, or particular SCR will be triggered. So during the positive half cycle, this terminal will be plus, this will be minus. So during positive half uh, cycle, T2 is off and T1 is turned on. So the flow of current is like this through this resistance R. This happens during positive half cycle. Because here positive is, so this uh, T1 will be turned on and T2 will be turned off. But do remember we are turning on T1 or SCR T1 at a firing angle alpha, the actual interval 0 to pi is the diagram. But the conduction starts from alpha to pi because we are firing, we have set the firing angle equals to alpha. So alpha to pi thick waveform, this waveform will be exactly replica, similar to that of input waveform. Only the thing is that 0 to alpha, there won't be any conduction because we are firing SCR at an angle alpha. So alpha to pi, this thyristor 1 will be conducting and you are getting a corresponding positive waveform. Same way, in the negative half cycles, the polarity gets reversed. This becomes minus, this becomes plus. So during negative half cycle, the flow of current will be like this. Because, because this is now switch off, I will explain it. See, the flow of current is like this. This is, this is positive, this is negative. Due, due to this negative connection, this T1 will be switched off and T2 will be switched on. Again, the thyristor T2 is fired at an angle, uh, some particular angle alpha. So triggering uh, takes place at angle pi plus alpha. Actually, pi pi positive waveform khatam hota hai. But uh, the next SCR, that is T2, will be fired at after some angle alpha. So conduction starts from pi plus alpha and it will follow the negative waveform. Likewise, the cycle repeats. The similar kind of waveform we will be getting as far as output current is concerned. Only the thing is that we know like other waveforms, whole, uh, current is voltage upon resistance. So amplitude of this waveform is reduced. So as I mentioned, from alpha to pi, T1 will be on and T2 will be off. In the next interval, that is for negative half cycle, pi plus alpha to 2 pi, T2 is on and T1 is off. This is the way how the AC, a single phase AC, uh, voltage controller works. I have explained you the full wave uh, controller. In case of half wave controller, instead of two SCRs, only one SCR is used and you are getting only positive waveforms. You won't get a negative waveform. That will be about half uh, AC voltage controller. Next part is analysis of single phase uh, full wave AC controller. We'll be talking about calculation of V0 average, that is average output voltage and V0 RMS, that is RMS output voltage. We have just now discussed the waveforms. As far as this average value is concerned, jitna positive cycle are jitna negative cycle are So if you take average for entire period, that is from 0 to 2 pi, average value become 0. 
नेक्स्ट वी आर एम एस दिस इज द करस्पोडिंग फॉर्म्यूला टू कैलकुलेट आर एम एस वैल्यू दैट इज आउटपुट आर एम एस वैल्यू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ वन बाय पाई इंटीग्रेशन अल्फा टू पाई एम कंसिडरिंग पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल देन वी एम स्क्वेयर साइन स्क्वेयर ओमेगा टी डी ओमेगा टी इससे पहले के वीडियोज में आई मीन इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सेकंड यूनिट और थर्ड यूनिट इंस्टेड ऑफ डी ओमेगा टी वी कंसिडर नोटेशन थीटा एनी थिंग विल डू इट विल नॉट मेक एनी डिफरेंस नाउ लेट अस सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन सो This equation can be written as under root of one by pi. This v m square can be taken outside this integration. So I will write it like this: v m square upon pi. Then inside the integration, sine square omega t is there. We have the identity. Use the identity: sine square theta is equal to one minus cos two theta upon two. So in this case, this term sine square omega t can be written as One minus cos two omega t upon two. Then variable of integration is d of omega t. So let us simplify it further. It can be written as under root of v m square upon pi. This this two can be also taken out. ये two भी बाहर लिया. So inside the integration we have one minus cos 2 omega t d omega t consider it as separate two terms so this can be written as uh, under root of v m square upon 2 pi c as far as this term one is concerned iska integration i mean one d omega t iska integration omega t hoga limits are again alpha 2 pi so this is omega t Limits alpha to pi minus second term. Integration of second term is sine two omega t upon two. Look at the variable of integration. It is we have to integrate it with respect to omega t. So this integration of cos two omega t is sine omega two omega t upon two. Then limits alpha to pi. So. Let us simplify it further. It can be written as under root of b m square upon two pi inside the bracket. This term in place of omega t we have to put upper limit then a lower limit. So this becomes pi minus alpha. This is the answer of first term. I have put upper limit minus lower limit minus second term. Second term becomes sine of two pi. See, in place of omega t, I am putting upper limit two as it is. Sine of two pi minus sine. I will just remove this identity we have already used. Minus sine of two alpha. Because again, same logic. In place of omega t, we have to put value alpha. This two remains as it is. Divided by two as it is. So this can be further written as. V m square upon two pi inside the bracket. See pi minus alpha. This first term remains as it is. Now they go sine two pi is always zero, so this term vanishes. This minus minus become plus plus sine two alpha upon two. So this is the equation. If you wish, you can further simplify it. I mean, you can take this v m square upon two pi outside the square root. Then it becomes v m upon root two pi, and so on. But up to the, this stage, it is okay. So this is the equation of output R M S voltage. That is v zero R M S. Next part is fan regulator using track. Actually, we are studying different applications of power devices. So one of the applications is how to regulate the fan speed. By using combination of diac and track, this is the corresponding circuit diagram. At the input side, we are applying single phase AC voltage. Then this is the fan motor. R1 and R2 are two resistors. Out of this, R2 is a potentiometer. That means variable resistor. C is the capacitor. We are using combination of diac and track. Output of diac is connected to trigger the tra track. Now. Initially, the value of this potentiometer R2 is kept at the maximum position just to avoid the false triggering of this track. We know that this is the potentiometer. That means we can vary the uh, position of this wiper. So, depending on this, we, uh, as you go on varying this, the charging of capacitor C start taking place. So, 
Once you'll change the position of this initially, it was at the maximum position. Once you'll change it, the charging of capacitor starts. Since the charging of capacitor is started after certain time period, one particular value, I mean one particular voltage across the across this capacitor will be developed. That voltage will be sufficient to overcome this breakdown of this track and because of which it will supply the pulse to this track terminal. See, the capacitor has started charging. Once a sufficient voltage level is reached, it will switch on this diac it, and then diac will trigger this track. Because of this, this path gets completed and now through uh, single phase AC, the supply goes to fan motor and then through, diac, uh, through track, it again comes back to the uh, mains. So this is how the circuit works. Now, there is one term which is called as RC time constant. So that is decided by values of R1, R2 and C. So as you go on changing the position of potentiometer, you can vary the triggering of this track and accordingly the speed can be varied, speed can be adjusted. Now diac and triac are bidirectional devices. So we can well vary the speed uh, as far as this positive and AC, uh, positive and negative part of input AC is concerned. So this is, this is the way how the fan uh, speed can be regulated using the combination of diac and track.